Why don't you get a room, Teresa? There's a young child in the house. Julian, <clears throat> don't start with me. Especially considering the way you and Rebecca used to carry on your own sex games in this house. Uh, insatiable Rebecca. Instead of Julian and Rebecca keeping their sexual fantasies in private, they treated this home like an amusement park with pony, I mean, donkey rides. Leave Edgar out of this. Rebecca got the poor beast in the divorce settlement, you know, which really has nothing to do with the fact that the two of you were almost coupling here in the living room mere hours after the house was burglarized and your poor mother was shot. You'll have to excuse Julian, Gerald. <sighs> He gets this way when he's had too much to drink. I am perfectly lucid, dear. If I seem testy, it's because whoever burglarized this place made off with absolute stacks of money, among other things. I've made a list of everything that's missing right here. The crane security is yet to dust for fingerprints upstairs, so I don't want you touching anything when you to go up there. You know, Julian, do I need to remind you that I am in charge and I decide whether crane security investigates what happened tonight or not? My God, your mother was just shot. I mean, I would think that you'd want to do everything possible to bring the culprit to justice. I do. With my brother investigating, I'm sure there'll be an arrest, and soon. Oh, yes. Well, even so, you see, there are some very sensitive uh, files that are missing, and I want them back before the police get their hands on them. Have you been doing crane business behind my back, Julian? These documents have nothing to do with you, my dear. They pertain to certain activities my father and I conducted before you joined our happy little family. I'm trying to improve the crane image. How am I supposed to do that when I don't know what Alistair had you do to blacken it in the first place? Oh, you're going to run damage control as well as running the company? I think that's just wonderful, dear. It'll give me more time to spend with our son. In fact, I'm taking him to the Red Sox game tomorrow in Boston. No, you're not. Mm. Really, why is that? Because I forbid it. We'll see about that.